Welcome everybody to this Microsoft 365 feature demo show, whatever it's called, the series doesn't really matter. Uh, we're here to tell you the latest and greatest on the cool features. And again, we have such a brilliant, brilliant capabilities available uh, for SharePoint Online. Uh, my name is Tessa Yuvanen. I'm a uh, principal product manager on Microsoft 365 side. And with me today uh, is the real star. Tina, can you do a quick intro who you are and what are we going to talk about today? Yeah, of course. So, hi everyone. This is Tina Chen. Uh, I'm the senior product manager at Microsoft ODSP Experiences team. So today I bring up a new feature. It has been a while since we've been uh, working on the SharePoint set, right? So today I'm bringing a lot of updates for the set header filters and also the navigation links. Really, really cool. So in in spring 2025, we've been rolling out a lot of awesome UX capabilities and AI capabilities on SharePoint, but that wasn't all. We are just rolling out all the time, new key features and capabilities. And of course, even the baseline stuff like headers and footers, we are evolving those based on the customer feedback. And what's new there? What, what are we going to say today? Yeah, in short, like today's update included like for the two sides of users. The first one is to empower the site owners to help you uh, elevate your design with greater control over the site visuals and layouts. Uh, while we're offering the site viewers a more cleaner, more immersive browsing experience. Sounds sounds really awesome. Let's actually save some time and jump directly on the demo because I think everybody wants to see. Okay, what have we? What are we rolling out? So let me flip the the mode to the demo mode and take it away, Tina. All right. So now I'm in the mode of the site owner. So the very first thing I'm going to do is go to the site test, and I can click on change the look. And here we can see we have the header. And now we were introducing a brand new tab called design. So here we already have like four different layouts. Previously, only under the extended mode, you can have the image as the header background. But now we introduce the uh, image as background for all four layouts here. So when we come in here, either we can choose in from the uh, same, same colors uh, let's say we can change it to the different color. But now uh, what I'm going to do today is to actually add an image as background. Really cool. So many new settings and options for people to actually test out. So this is really, really cool. And you can see that the overlay color and suggested opacity number has been auto applied to make sure this is more uh, accessible. And while well, you can also manually to config uh, like with some gradient, something like this. Yeah. And also you can do some advanced editing, like change the focal point, uh, try to crop it a little bit by clicking on the advanced editing button. And these are the same settings what we have been having for image editing uh, for a while, uh, but now they're of course available here as well. Really, really cool. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so another exciting feature we want to introduce is that many of you have been asking like whether we can change the uh, typography for the header, right? So now this is available. You can see like the, the site title has been changed, right? Yep. Yeah. Where does the selection of the, the font coming? Because right now we don't have two of them. Is that coming from the theme which is provided on the site or how does that work? So it's actually controlled by the brand manager. Whenever yes. your brand manager uh, given like some font packages here. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Then, we, then those are available and show up in the config of the yep. header uh, typography. So there is a central control by the brand manager for what other fonts which are available. Makes perfect sense. Yes. Yeah, exactly. So uh, moving to the navigation, we also introduced this capability as well. So you can see the navigation font has been changed if I click on uh, another one under the available font package here. Yeah. Right. So this is the change. And moving on to the next one will be the footer. So let me close this one a little bit. 
So you can see now the filter here is right aligned, right? So many of you have been asking, oh, I want to make it left aligned. So now we allow this capability. Sorry for that. Um, yeah, so I can the link yeah. align left. Yep. Yeah, here we go. And also I can add an image as a background for the filter as well. So let me quickly do that. So, so now you can see that uh, the image has been applied. Yep. Uh, and yeah, also we can change the opacity uh, like mentioned uh, for the header background as well. And I can change the footer uh, name font and also the link font as well. Yeah, really, really cool. So similar kind of settings in both header and the footer to adjust the look and feel. Again, without any code, without understanding anything on CSS or HTML or anything, you just click and select uh, a lot of new options available. Really, really cool. Yeah, so with this enhancement, we want to make sure like your SharePoint stack could be more visually engaging. And also you can better uh, connect your audience with the, uh, the your organizational brand. So yes. this is why we want to do that. Yeah, so let's move on to the next one. I will give you a view from the set visitor. Yeah, so now uh, we're visiting this site uh, as a visitor. So you can see now I'm in the view mode and you can see the teaching bubble show up here mentioning that uh, we've been hiding the previous command bar between the header and the uh, title region area of a page. Uh, we've received a lot of feedback. You want to have a more Im immersive experience for your uh, set visitors. So this is why we hide those buttons, but you can still find the buttons here on the header. So the yep. first button is the share, uh, the share page button. You can directly find it on the uh, header right now. And moving on to the next, you, you can see the immersive reader and also the header and navigation button has been uh, hided in, in, the, uh, in the header as well. So when yep. I click on this one, and you can still, uh, anytime by clicking on show header, you can get it back. Yep. So this is the new experience. And this basically means that if you want, you can have seamless transitioning between the header and the content area, again, without the toolbar, which we used to have there. So there's a lot of new design options for designers to make the page look even more clear. Yeah. So together, you can see here with the customized image as background in the header, and yeah. also together with the removed uh, command bar for the viewers, the viewer got a really, really clean view here uh, with they can uh, stay more focused on the page instead yeah. of the Chrome. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of, lot of new design options. I love this. And it's getting more clean and clear uh, for, for end users for sure. This is really, really cool. Really awesome stuff. Yep. I guess that's it for the for the new features uh, on this video. Let's, let's again, we always tease about the future. Uh, can we talk about any, any new stuff? Uh, we are on the second half of the calendar year 2025 as we're recording this in August 2025. Um, we've released so many cool features already uh, during 2025 uh, for SharePoint and SharePoint Online for users and users and creators uh, and the content creators. Any Anything that we can tease on the future? Yeah, uh, upcoming next we will have uh, the introduction of the new templates gallery. So stay tuned and we will have another video coming up soon. That's good. That's good. And a lot of other stuff coming in the pipeline as well, for sure, in the autumns and 2026. So there's, there's so many cool things uh, in the pipeline. So the team is doing a brilliant job on, on introducing and modernizing the whole content creation experiences and also the experiences for end users. So thank you for the whole team, uh, Tina and the team behind of uh, you as well uh, on making all of this happen. But I guess that's it for this video. So thank you, Tina, for joining once again. Uh, we'll come up uh, with a another video pretty soon on, on other new capabilities, as you mentioned. So thank you, Tina. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.